Hey y'all, welcome to another Theater Talks with Scott. Now lean in close. Come on, lean in close. Cause I saw Top Dog Underdog. Yep, that's right. The amazing Pulitzer Prize winning play by Suzanne Laurie Parks. It's revived on Broadway. Um, I've never seen it. I knew hardly anything about it. Um, so I said lean in close because it's about two brothers. One is named Lincoln and one is named Booth. And that whole full analogy didn't hit me till I literally walked in my hotel room and I went, well, duh. Um, they're brothers and they're living together in this very, very nasty, very low rent apartment. Um, I mean, I think it says New York City, but it could be any big city. It really could. Um, I had a great seat and I was so close that I thought I could smell how nasty the apartment smelled. Tiny, awful apartment that these two grown men are sharing. Oh, okay, sorry. Top Dog Underdog stars Corey Hawkins. Love, saw him in Six Degrees of Separation, which he was nominated for a Tony Award. It was with Allison Janney. Um, and he also played Benny in, um, the Manuel Miranda's um, in the Heights, in the movie, in the movie he played Benny. Uh, in the original, it was Christopher um, Jackson. God, uh, I'm old, you guys. Um, anyway, so it's two brothers. It, Corey uh, plays Lincoln, um, who has a job during the day playing Abraham Lincoln in a arcade where he sits in a chair pretending to watch a play while tourists, mostly white people, um, pretend to shoot him and he dies. And that's his job. And he's terrified of losing it. Um, he used to be the greatest three card Monty car dealer in the city in the country according to him ever um and three card monty you know that's the shell game you know pick the card the two reds and a black or whatever it is you know it's um okay i did lean in close because in three card monty you always say lean in close or at least he did but now i have to put it back a little bit um the play starts with uh lincoln's brother younger brother Booth, um, the father told Lincoln once, he said, why'd your name was Lincoln and Booth? And he said, it was a joke. Well, that should tell you a lot about the father and the parental units, okay? The younger son, Booth, uh, starts the show where he is practicing three-card Monty, and he's wanting to get good at three-card Monty like his older brother. And that is played by and I apologize profusely if I mess up his name. Yahya Abdul Mateen II. I hope I said it right. This is his Broadway debut. Um, he's done a number of television and some film work. Um, I think he won an Emmy. I, I read his bio a little bit, and again, hardly anything there rang true, so I apologize. I am going to be following his career. I am following his social media. I am going to follow his career because what a brilliant actor. Uh, so he plays the younger brother, Booth, trying to, wanting to be as good of a card shock as his brother. Also wanting a better life. Uh, there's a lot in this play about money and about how poor and broke these guys are. And they split their money up when... Um, Lincoln comes in with his pay money for the week, and they say, okay, this much goes to rent, this much goes to alcohol, this much goes for a telephone. We ain't got no phone. Yeah, but you got to tell the women you need a phone, and they do that whole thing. The play, I don't know when it was written. I remember it being off-Broadway at the public. That's what I remember, and then I remember it coming to Broadway, But and I remember it got great reviews. In fact, 
He got some uh, some Tony nominations, didn't win anything. Um, and I was thinking that was around 2002, because um, that's kind of when I'm remembering it. I'll have to go back and look, or you can Wikipedia it. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> but to be honest, this play feels more relevant right now in 2022 uh, for everything that's going on. Um, to me, what it, what it showed was two brothers, two brothers who love each other, but compete with each other and are always trying to one up each other. And they exhibit every, every um, trait of toxic masculinity that there is from the way they talk about women uh, to the way they talk about jobs to the way they talk about the world uh, and each other. It, it made me emotional because there are good moments. There's fun times between the two brothers where you get to see these two brothers that their parents left them when they were 16 and 13 and they hid from the child services lady and they raised themselves and there's a way that that booth looks up to his older brother lincoln and that lincoln looks out for his younger brother booth and and, and um that struck really emotional with me because even though i had brothers um i never had that relationship that closeness with my brothers and I tried I, there, that's a whole big subject that my therapist and I keep going through in fact Tuesday we'll be getting back into it because she told me last time she's like um, I'm just letting you know next week we're going to be talking about your brothers again I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah um, uh, so this play talks uh, has deals a lot with that but it deals more with the desire to be loved, I think. That's what I got out of it. The desire to be accepted, to be appreciated, to be valued, to be respected by your brother, I'm not going there, by a lover, by the world, by people, by a country. Um, an amazing play. I'm uh, not going to tell you how it ends. Lincoln and Booth are the names. Directed by Kenny Leon. I have to talk about Kenny Leon again. I have talked about him on this trip at least once or twice in my videos. This director... This play, I do remember that this play was directed by George C. Wolf, who is like one of the greatest, you know, after Hal Prince and, and some of them, George C. Wolf is, is one of the, 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 the great uh, theater directors. He did this originally, Kenny Leon did it now. Kenny Leon is following right in those steps, maybe he's even past those steps. Um, he, he directs with such skill and this, um, effortlessness to this to complicated storytelling um, the set is incredible like I said it, it's a rundown apartment it's set on a turntable for some reason um, although it sets it this is at the Golden Theater and I haven't gone to a lot at the Golden Theater I actually want to look that up in my spreadsheet yeah y'all know I'm a door I'm a dork I have a spreadsheet um, because I don't remember being in that theater um, it's this rundown apartment where you have to share a bathroom down the hall. There's no running water. Um, it's it's sad. It's so rundown. One of them sleeps on a twin bed. One of them sleeps on a recliner. 
It's disgusting. And it's set on this turntable. And then behind it is the most opulent, rich drapery that covers the whole rest of the stage, the, the proscenium behind this turntable. Because the, the top of the apartment stops. It doesn't go all the way up like many do, you know. So you see the curtain behind it. The, the entire time, what it got me was the, and I might be reaching here, but, uh, and pre-show, before the show, the turntable was covered by a curtain of a kind of, um, I'm not sure what the word is going to say here, faded out American flag on this curtain that covered the round, the turntable. Um, it was faded out. It was it was worn. It was dingy, uh, you know. Uh, but all around the stage, and then when the when that was raised up, we see the apartment. But behind it is this rich gold, opulent drape upon drape upon drape of curtain that just reminded me of all of the wealth that is out there that surrounds our poorest poorest people who really feel they have no choice but in order to succeed they have to steal as Booth does that's what he does that's how he makes his living is he boosts things and he's trying to learn three card Monty and Lincoln always did three card Monty until recently when some things happened with his life and a friend I'm not going to tell you everything that now he had to go get a real job both of these men in their late 20s, early 30s have the bleakest lives and the bleakest future. Wow, what a play. Top dog, underdog. Um, if you can get here, see it. If there's a revival, go see it. Um, if you our theater person get the script and read it I can't wait to read this script now wow uh, I was meant to see it today and tonight and it was emotional go see it Top Dog and a Dog at the Golden Theater thanks for hanging out for another Theater Talks with Scott